follow-up video to my previous video that I made yesterday where I ranked the new series and um, from worst to best. So today I'm going to rank the specials, Christmas specials and the, uh, you know, specials like Day of the Doctor and like the David Tennant specials from 2009. Um, and remember, this is just on how much I enjoy them. It's not too critical. Just on how much I enjoy them. So, we'll start with... Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe. This is a mess. This is just a mess. I can't describe how bad this actually is. It's terrible. It is terrible. It's... in oh, It's so bad. I mean... Uh, Billy Tracy from Five Who Fans had to turn this episode off when he was watching it because it was so awful. That's how bad it is. It's terrible. It... <sighs> terrible. Don't watch this unless you... you. I suppose do watch it if you want to watch the series. Yeah, do watch it, but be beware. Yeah. Right, and then next we have... The next Doctor. I enjoy this one, but it's not the best. It's, um... The Cybermen are a bit too robotic in it, and they were in the Rise of Cybermen Age of Steel, but this one, it kind of pushes it to the max. And, um... It's okay, you know? It's, it's not, like, totally bad like that monstrosity. But, yeah, it's it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Next we have Voyage of the Damned. And a part of the case is broken off there. Don't even see that. Yeah, it's broken off. But, um, yeah, Voyage of the Damned. The 2007 Christmas special. And okay, not the best one again. Uh, the Heavenly Host. It's sort of recycled from the Robots of Death, I thought. You know, the servants. Um, you know, the servants turning on the humans and... Yeah, it's kind of recycled. Oh, yeah, that's come off as well. But who cares? Who cares? It's just leave it. Anyway, yeah. Forge of the Damned. Now, next, actually, this got complaints from one of the last survivors of the Titanic because it, it apparently it was wrong to make entertainment out of a tragedy. But, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. The greatest Doctor Who episode ever. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, yes, now, Christmas Invasion. The only reason I rank this so low is because we don't really get to see much of the new Doctor. We don't really see much of Ten until about ten minutes till the end. He's just in bed the whole episode, recovering from his regeneration. But, but, that makes up for it because when we do first see him, it's amazing. His performance is absolutely amazing. So, yes, Christmas Invasion. Next we have the Snowmen. Snowmen, not that great. Not that great. It's it's good. It, I enjoy it. But it does it doesn't compare to other Christmas specials and specials. It doesn't it The Snowmen aren't as much of a threat as Moffat would like them to be. He, uh, the writing sort of portrays them as really, really, like, terrifying, but they're kind of not. They're just sort of, like, I don't think that's very terrifying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Snowmen, there we go. Runaway Bride. Now, some people would put this as their least favourite special, but I actually quite enjoy it. Um, the monster, the Ratnos, is actually quite threatening in this and it's nice to see the pilot fish return as well and yeah runaway bride good special good special not the best though good. planet of the dead i feel this one's quite underrated because it's like i it's just i find it to be really entertaining actually the sting granted the stingrays aren't that threatening it, look, it looks like they've just got a mouth attack. It looks a bit like the Jagrafest, to be honest. But then, <laughs> Lee Evans is Malcolm. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's great. Um, really underrated. 
review. It was a stonking Doctor Who episode. It was great to be back on an uncharted planet. A stonking episode. Stonking. Right. <laughs> Next, Christmas Carol. Now, considering this is Matt Smith's first Christmas special, I think it, it is. It is really good, to be honest. Um. It. It's kind of. The story that we all know and love, but with a Doctor Who twist on it. And I really like that they've done that, but... Yeah. Good. Very good. End of Time, Parts 1 and 2, David Tennant's last story. Now, um, I do like this story. as much. People say that it's not good, but I quite enjoy it. But, uh, David Tennant's last words... I don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> not very good, because... Well, it. I'm not going to explain. It's just basically Russell T. Davis is assuming that every that David Tennant is everyone's favorite Doctor when he might not be, and like, it's he's just saying that I don't want to go. That's yeah, bad and bad last words, but otherwise pretty good, pretty good finale for David Tennant. Waters of Mars. Now this is really good. Let me just put that out there. This is amazing. Uh, scary too. These these guys, the flood, actually really scared me. Um, when I was younger, I was I so this scared me loads. It's like the review sums it up actually. A big budget, knock your socks off, blockbuster. It is. It is that. It's like it's like a movie condensed into forty five minutes. Or is it forty five minutes? Sixty two minutes. Sorry. And at the end we see really dark side of the doctor. It works really well. A great special. Top two. Top two. Time of the Doctor. Time of the Doctor. Now it, this is a great finale for Matt Smith. Some people say it's confusing and it's like it's not as good as the other ones, but I enjoy it actually. Um, the the Daleks in it are quite good, and uh, it's the first time we've seen them properly. Okay, um, yeah, very good finale. Just slightly lazy, really. I mean, Stephen Moffat has been quite lazy with this. I mean, with the uh, War Doctor being introduced, it's kind of, yeah, but still, really, really good, highly enjoyable. Now, seen this coming, didn't you? The Day of the Doctor. Now, of course, this is is a special because it's not part of a series and fiftieth anniversary special. Always trust the DVD. Yeah, Day of the Doctor. No, this is brilliant. This brings together everything that's made Doctor Who Doctor Who for 50 years. It's brilliant 50th anniversary special. Seeing it in the cinema was a truly special experience. And the reuse of the original opening titles really gives it that special feeling to it. And um, when the 13th Doctor saved Gallifrey and, um, of course, spoiler alert, Peter Capaldi appears... I shouldn't really be saying that. You should have seen this by now if you're a Doctor Who fan, guys. Um, but, yeah, Peter Capaldi, that, I screamed out in the cinema. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounded evil. But, I mean, you couldn't really hear it because everyone was clapping and cheering and going, woo, woo, woo. You could barely hear the thing. But, yeah, Dare the Doctor, the best special. Wow, that's a lot of DVDs. <laughs> yes, that's my ranking of the specials. Um, I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye. See you, mysterious people behind the screen. I forgot to say that at the beginning. I should say that more often. Mysterious people behind the screen. Goodbye. Sorry, I'm a bit mad today.